Now normally when you're targeting uh, golden perch you'd probably use something like a, uh, a stump jumper or, or a, a fairly deep diving bibbed minnow, smaller than a, a cod lure but um, this lake is only about a metre and a half deep so those lures are really not going to prove effective when, when fishing this sort of terrain. So what we've got on today is actually a brim lure which is the Eco Gear ZX. It's a, uh, a prawn imitation of all things um, and works much the same as uh, metal blades but has two trailing assist hooks and they swim freely behind the lure as it wobbles through the water and the great thing is is that I can use this at a fairly low speed and keep it up out of the weeds. Well perch aren't known to be a voracious predaceous fish, they're, they're fairly docile type fish, they'll sit in their hole, they'll protect their territory. So what I want to do is get a lure something like this that's brash in your face, it's going to vibrate a heap and get that as close to the fish as possible, get a reaction out of them, get them, hey you get out of my territory and get them to eat that, that's why I want to use a lure like this. Alright so Basically the technique we're using is cast the lure out, let it sink down a couple of feet and then just a slow roll back, keeping it out of the weeds. The fantastic thing about these light blades is that you can just slow roll them and they will stay fairly high up in, in the water column if you want them to. So they'll keep vibrating and those little assist hooks out the back, they'll keep flashing around. Now I reckon a lure like this is fantastic for prospecting. You can get long casts out, you can run it deep, you can run it shallow, and it gets a fantastic action out of it, even at low speed. So I can keep the lure in front of the fish when we find them uh, for much longer than a floating or a sinking lure of a heavier weight. Now when fishing for golden perch in lakes, one of the prime things to do is make sure that you don't get stagnant. Keep moving around, these fish aren't going to come to you, so you need to move to them. Present the lure around, cover an area and then move on. Perch are a schooling fish, so if you do come across one fish, keep casting into that area and with a bit of luck you'll pull out more than one. The thing with a, a lake like this is you've got so much water and it's also shallow, it really is about getting your lure out into every nook and cranny in the place. You want to keep working, you see weed beds, a bit of a, a tree that's come down, you want to run your lure past it, just a slow retrieve, keeping the rod tip down, let the action of the lure do its thing. Yep, we're on. Beautiful, this is a nice fish too. This is fantastic fish. All right. So now we're only using white gear here, so I can't put too much hurt on this fish. As I said, it hit like an absolute freight train, and it's now now putting in its little runs. All right. See if I can't turn its head. Only got a little bit left. We'll just get him in nice and easy. I'll guide him in and lift him out. So this is where you lose a lot of your fish, but you don't want to bring a landing net. This is the way you've got to go about it. Grab your leader and uh, guide that fish in. You just want to get thumb right into his gob and support his belly. And there you go, look at that. That is a lump of a fish. And fantastic fun, fighting that on light gear, but lifting that blade off the bottom and then feeling this thing slam headlong into it. That's fantastic, you can't ask for much more than that. So there you go, proof that these Eco Gear ZX blades are a fantastic lure for targeting golden perch with. <laughs>